Well, hello again. It's Chris Rubio, and I'm talking to the computer. This is a. Uh, this is going to be an episode of uh, Think It Over, because I, I've been thinking over, and I have some thoughts to to think over, and ideas to express uh, to someone or no one, or to the universe. Um. I've been thinking about debate and argument and the ways in which people communicate with one another, the way we have discussions and arguments and things. And, and I think I titled this, uh, this video, how to know if you're thinking like a child. Because, uh, and I'll tell you right away, it's if you or uh, if you are thinking of any other kind of person as a thing, as a, as a racist, as an anti-Semite, as an Islamophobe, as a right-winger, as a left-winger, as a hater, uh, or even a Nazi... What you're doing is you're putting, well, first of all, you're thinking like a child, because that's how kids think. It's the bad guy. There's a good guy. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? That's, a, that's an immature, low-resolution way of thinking. And what it does is it creates an absolutist about whoever that person is, uh, MAGA Republican. MAGA Republican, if you're on the left, you think, oh, it's a, t a terrible thing, and they're just these bad people. That's it. They're just these bad people. And if you're, uh, if you're on the right and you think, um, uh, what, what would you call it, leftists or crazy liberals or just liberal, you know, you just see them as these bad people. When you do that, you create an, an absolute opposition with that other person or that, uh, with that other person. You just put them in a box, and they stay in the box, and everything you think is filtered through that box. And I would argue that the proper way to look at uh, people that you discuss things with is human beings that espouse certain ideas, think certain things, and take certain actions. They're human beings first. If, other, if, you, if you turn it around and say what this person is saying uh, is abhorrent to me. What they did is terrible. Uh, I think those words are anti-Semitic. I think those actions are anti-Semitic. I think, I think those words and actions are Islamophobic. What you're saying is Islamophobic, or what you're saying is anti-Semitic. Then, then there's room for discussion, because you're talking to another human being, not a quote-unquote bad guy. So I would just encourage everyone, and I'm saying it to myself, whenever I find myself or whenever you find yourself labeling someone as a thing, just just take a step back and say, okay, this, this person is a human, apparently. Um, they, they're doing things which are abhorrent to me. I, I dislike them, and I think they're... Ap apply that label to their thoughts and their words and their actions, not them as a person. That way we can work at least work on things as rational, reasonable adults and not silly little children. I'm Chris Rubio, asking you to please think it over.